Hello. Welcome to MIT App Inventor Tutorials. I am Krishna Raghavendran and this is part 2 of the web browser app. So if you didn't see part 1, please see it now. And in part 1, we made these basic functions like back, forward, reload, home, go. And it will work. In this tutorial, we are going to make bookmarks. For that, I'm going to add a new button and rename this to bookmarks. Yes, so now let me rename this. Bookmarks. What I'm going to do is that when this button is clicked, I'm going to go to a bookmark screen. So I'm going to create new screen so let me go to add screen and put screen name as bookmark yes and our new screen is created here we can see the bookmark screen so now we can make this title invisible now let's add a list it's going to be a list view so here we can see list view. So here we will show the list of bookmarks. Now let's set this height width to be fill parent. Background color should be white and text color should be black. Now we have, we don't need a button. So here they can see the bookmarks and if they click one, they would be able to go there. You can also add a remove bookmark and clear bookmark button but I am not going to do that because if you don't know how to do it you can see our before tutorial in working in lists. In that tutorial I have explained how to add an item, remove an item and update or edit an item and clear all the items. So you can see that tutorial to make remove and others. So in this tutorial, we will just concentrate on the bookmarks. So if they select the bookmark, then it will go to this screen and navigate to the bookmark. So now we also need to do one thing like after, yeah, in this bookmark screen, we need to get value and we, when when the screen bookmark screen is initializing, set list view one dot elements to the elements is going to be from tiny db. So we are using tiny db because we are using two screens. So to to store the value in this screen, so here we have another button called bookmark. So I think this, this is confusing this UI, but you can make it a little more nice. But I'm just putting the difference between this button and this button is that this is to use, this is to bookmark a site. For example, if I put gmail.com and click this, this will get added in the bookmark list. And this is to go to the bookmarks list. So it is a little bit confusing for the user. So if you put icons, it will be easy. But I'm just to explain, I'm putting like this. So this is bookmark. Yes. So now when bookmark click, add items to list. The list is going to be the list from tiny db. So we need tiny db so if you go to storage you can see tiny db let's drag it in and then tiny db dot get value the tag is going to be bookmarks if value is not there if the tag is not there then what we need to do is that create empty list and the item which we need to add is the URL of the web viewer. 
so here we have web viewer so if you go here you can see web viewer dot current url so this one is going to be the item which we will add in this tiny db now what we need to do in this bookmark screen before that we need when they click this button it needs to go to this bookmark screen for that i'm going to do like when bookmarks dot click open another screen name the screen is going to be bookmark make sure you have you are putting the capital letters and the small letters properly and even the spelling or else it will not go to the screen so now let me check here you can see both of them are same now after we open that screen here we need to view the bookmarks in this list so set list view one dot elements two. We are going to get it from tiny db. So tiny db dot get value. The tag is going to be bookmarks. Yes. So now make sure. So make sure the tag is same. So now I'm going to go to this screen and see. Here you can see I'll just copy and paste it there so that there will not be mistakes. Yes. So now if the value is not there, we need to do create empty list. After that, if they select an item in the list, it needs to go to this screen with the value, with the URL which they have selected. So now what we are going to do is that list view one dot after picking which is after selecting we need to save it in tiny db so this is another tag so let's name this url so this is the url which the bookmarks will send after this they have selected to this screen one so the value to store is going to be List view one dot selection. And then we also need to give a start value. So here we have, if you see here, open another screen name. It's, the screen name is going to be screen one. Screen one and the start value is going to be the start value is going to be true. So when the screen is initializing, we don't need to go to this URL. We need to go now. We need an if condition. So if the start value if get start value is equal to true then it means that they have clicked they have selected an item in the bookmark screen so we need to get the selection item so web one dot go to url and this url is not going to be google but it should be tiny db dot get value the tag is going to be url tag and if the value is not there then we can make it to go to google.com. Else, if the start value is not true, then we need to put this one. Go to URL google.com. So make sure this tag is same. So I'm going to go here and see if the tag is same. The tag is same. Yes, so now let's test our app. I'm going to have a variable for this. So let this variable be bookmarks. And then I'll set.
So um, I have set this to create empty list. And then when the bookmark is clicked, I'm going to add items to list this list. After I add it, I will store it it in tiny db. So tiny db dot store value. The tag is going to be bookmarks, and the value to store is going to be this one. Now the screen is initial as We need to set the variable this variable called bookmarks to get the value from tiny db so the tag is going to be bookmarks and if the value is not there we are going to create an empty list So here I'm, you can see our web browser app. I'm going to go to bookmarks. So I have already bookmarked this one. If I click it, it goes to the outlook.com. So now I'm going to put the Gmail website here. Go. Here we can see the Gmail website. And then I'm going to click on bookmark. Now the Gmail website has been bookmarked. Let me go to bookmarks. Here we can see the Outlook and the Gmail. So if I click on the Gmail website, it goes here. And our app is working. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share this video.